Hey everyone, John here with DroidLessons.com and for today's lesson I'm going to show you how to better manage sounds on your Android device. Now your Android device will have uh, various sounds on it. Sounds for things like alarm, music, alerts, ringtones, system noises, and voice call. So to manage all those sounds is kind of difficult sometimes and you have to go into different settings in order to do uh, changes to it. I found the best way to manage all the sounds is to install an app called Audio Manager. Now I'm going to show you how you can do that. So first thing you want to do is go to your home screen like I am here and go to your uh, Android Market icon. So once the market is pulled up you can click the search icon on the top right which is right here or you can click the menu button and click search like I just did there and now what we're going to search for is an app called Audio Manager. So we're going to click here Audio Manager. And a couple of apps will pop up. The one we're interested in is called Audio Manager Widget, which is the free app right here. So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to click the free button to install. And I'm going to accept OK for the permissions and now the app is being installed and as it shows up there on the notification bar it's installing right now and it's successfully installed audio manager widget so now I'm going to click the home button on my device and once we're on the home screen here uh, in order to install the app on our home screen we're going to want to search for an area that's blank I have a blank spot here but I'm actually going to go to a different spot over here that has uh, a bigger empty space. So here I'm going to long press on the on the home screen here uh, and long press is just when you place your finger on the screen for more than two or three seconds with your finger pressed on the screen I'm going to do that. So I just long pressed it and now I got some additional options here. We're going to click on the widget icon. Click widget and now here we have two options. We can install the audio manager large or audio manager small. We'll click the large just to show you what it looks like here. And here the app is asking me what I want the refresh rate to be. And this is to adjust the time it takes for the widget to automatically refresh itself. Um, the, the longer you do the refresh for every you know 40 minutes, every 30 minutes, whatever, uh, it will consume more battery. So I'm actually going to leave it on never update for now and I'm going to click add widget here on the bottom left and now as you'll see I now have a widget on my screen that details the volume level of several different things on the left it's alarm then media then alerts then ringer then system and then voice so those are what the volumes are set to on all those uh, settings right now if I click the widget uh, it's going to prompt me if I want to upgrade to the Pro. It's a great app, uh, but I'm going to click no thanks for now. Okay, and now once we're here in the widgets uh, settings, you'll see that the volume uh, bars are appearing for alarm, music, alerts, ringer, system, and voice call. If I want to change the volume on any of those, I can just click on the little bar here and just move it left to right. And now my alarms will be uh, set to 1 out of 7. Or if I want it loud, I can make it 7 out of 7. So now my alarms, when they go off, will be as loud as they can get. My music volume, I can set it from 14 out of 15. I can lower it to you know, 3 out of 15 or 4 out of 15. That way it's not as loud when I play music. Alerts, ring vo uh, ringer volume. That's when someone calls you. How loud do you want it to be? and there's also an option there for vibrate. If I don't want it to vibrate, I can just click it and now when I get a phone call it won't vibrate. So it's nice to have all these audio options here on one screen. Uh, definitely saves a lot of time. Uh, voice call volume, that's another one there. Uh, when people are talking to you on the phone, how loud do you want their voice to be? You can change that here. If it's too loud you can lower it here or if it's not loud enough you can set it higher. 
So it's pretty nice to be able to manage all these audio uh, sounds in one place. Uh, now I want to go back to my home screen, so I'm just going to click the back button. And it takes me back to the screen where I have the widget. And now you see the changes I made. Media is now set lower because I changed it to be a little bit lower. And the other ones, you can see the, all the changes. Now if you don't want this widget for whatever reason, you can add the uh, smaller version. I'm going to click uh, long press on the home screen here. And the menu appeared here. I'm going to click widget again. And this time I'm going to do audio manager small and again I'm gonna click add widget on the bottom left and now you'll see what the smaller widget looks like so it takes up a little bit less screen uh, real estate here so if I want to delete any of these I can just long press say if I don't want this big one anymore I just long press it and I can drag it to the trash bin here on the bottom and then let go of it now I just removed that widget I didn't uninstall the app I just removed the widget um, another option, if you don't want to have this widget here, uh, what you can do is go to another screen, and if you want something smaller uh, than those widgets, you can also add an app icon for Audio Manager, and you can add the app icon on any screen that has a spot available for an icon. So I have one right here, so I'm going to long press on the screen, and instead of going to widget, I'm going to click app, and that goes to all my applications. On some phones, if it doesn't, if you don't have the option for app, then you'd want to go into shortcut. And then when you can go into shortcut, there'll be an option here called applications. You would do that. But since I have the option here, app, I'm going to click app, and then look for audio manager council, which is right there. I'm going to click that, and now I have an icon on my home screen for the audio manager. So it's not a widget like the other ones but it's still an icon for the audio manager so whenever I want to change my audio settings I just click here and again I can change any of the volumes on these uh, options here so that's pretty much it um, I find it to be a very useful app and it's I think the best way to manage all your sounds on your Android device if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment in the section below and please be sure to visit droidlessons.com again in the future. We're going to keep on updating with more lessons and tutorials often. Thanks for watching.